like a boss. Yeah, so I watch a lot of the YouTube videos, right? So the other night, my wife, lovely wife, she's like falling asleep, and I can't fall asleep because I'm all scatterbrained, so I just start watching some YouTube clips, okay? And I end up seeing this clip of this lady down at the zoo. All right, this lady down at the zoo. She taught this gorilla how to do sign language, okay? And I don't just mean like hello and goodbye, like literally phrases. This thing could like, like talk about its emotions. They were actually conversing. The gorilla was sitting there talking to her. Oh my God, you look a little upset today. She's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of sad. And they're just talking. So immediately, like my brain just went fucking crazy. I was like, oh my God, she's talking to a gorilla. I love gorillas. Who doesn't want to talk to a gorilla? What began as a PhD to teach sign language to Coco turned into a lifelong relationship. It seemed like Penny was in love with Coco and the way in which a mother might be in love with a daughter. News about Coco made headlines across the world. Coco, who's a particularly intelligent gorilla... Coco is the subject of the longest lady. ongoing ape language. So long story short, she's sitting there, she's talking to this gorilla, and one day she decides to get a little kitten, a little kitty cat, right? And immediately I'm thinking like, don't get it a cat. It's a gorilla. It's going to twist the thing's head off, throw the body over there, play with the head for a while. <laughs> sniffing it and stuff, and then later it's gonna walk over and set the head down next to the body and wonder why the whole thing's not getting up again. Because it's a fucking gorilla. It's a wild animal. Wild animals don't have pets, right? It's kill or be killed out there, that's it. They don't have little parakeets on their shoulders and shit. But it was the exact opposite. She gives it this little kitten, and the thing immediately understood that it was a baby, and this like parental thing came over. It was so like gentle and filled with joy, and just play it was like beautiful, right? And then they, they just understood that it loved this kitten, and they started using it as like a teaching tool, right? So every night they take the cat back, all right? And then the next day they come in, and if the gorilla learned its phrases, it got to play with the kitten. They use it as a motivational tool, so the gorilla's like vocabulary started going through the roof. All right? So to cut to the chase, one night they take the cat home. Somehow, the little kitten gets out. It got hit by a car, and it died. One evening, all ball was tragically killed on a nearby logging road. Coco was heartbroken. Coco, all ball was hit by a car. I went in right away, and I said, Coco, something's happened to your kitty, and he won't be here anymore. You know, he's, he's the, kid, the cat has died. Penny stayed with Coco to comfort her. And later, privately, Coco expressed her grief. Now, I can't do sign language, so you're going to have to bear with me through the rest of this bit. I'm going to do the best I can, all right? So the lady's sitting there, she's like, uh, ah, Jesus. Uh, well, well, the, the, the kitty cat, it got hit by a car, and it's fucking dead. And the gorilla immediately took it in. It immediately took it in and understood. Like its bottom lip started quivering, its eyes started watering up, it was signing like crying. And they go, and later on that night, you could hear it crying inside of its house. They built it a house, I don't know why. They live in trees. It's probably the guilt of putting the thing in f fucking jail, right? Whatever, it was like a two bedroom. It sounded like it was in the kitchen. And you just hear this thing in this house at night, just going like, And that was the end of the video. What the fuck? <laughs> You're gonna end on that? And then literally, right in that moment, I felt my wife's head just rest on my shoulder. She was like, that was so sad. I mean, it was beautiful, but it was sad. And I was just like, get off me. <laughs> just, just get off me.